Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Wednesday, March 16th, 2016. And we are reporting following a Fed announcement that interest rates will remain the same. We will not see a rate hike, at least for now. And the Net result has been a positive upside move in both the precious metals as well as U.S. equities. Oil trading higher, dollar trading lower. But we do have the equities not really on fire, but certainly trading higher on the day with the Dow Jones Industrial Average trading up about 70 72 points at 17,327. Now, in terms of our current trade, we are long the Standard & Poor's vis-a-vis -vis the E-mini. That is trading up about 11 points on the day at 2017.50. We are long from 1979 with stops below 88. We will look to trail those stops up. We'll send out the specific price point of that with our email announcing that today's video is ready for viewing and we'll tag that as a trade alert in the subject line. So traders, first to the business at hand, we are along a S&P contract roughly at 1979. So this is 1980. So roughly in this area, you can see that we put that on here. This is our daily chart currently trading at uh, 17. And we have our stops below the low of this candle, which is 88. And really about the only thing that makes sense is we do want to move our stop up and protect profits that we do have. And my suggestion is this, we certainly see a band of real support coming into the market as we talked about over the last couple of days at roughly the 2000. 2003, of course, is a 38% retracement of the August meltdown. And that's where the, this Fib retracement comes in, both the highs as well as the lows. You can see the low here, uh, the high is pegged from here. And so in order to tighten that stop and to have it actually make some technical sense, meaning not moving the stop based upon dollar concerns, but based upon where, where real support is, we really wanna at least keep it under these lows, meaning today and yesterday's low, which came in roughly at 97. So I know it's not very much, but my recommendation is to move your stop from below 1988 to below 1997 on a protective stop. Now, what do we see and what are we looking at? Well, a couple of real key factors that have me excited. And the first thing that we're going to talk about on a daily chart is that 200-day moving average. And yes, I never get tired talking about it because if we can see this market begin to track and trade above this, as you'll see on a weekly chart that we're going to pull up just following going through this chart, then we can definitely say we have the probability that we're off to the races in terms of an extended bully, bullish rally. Because as you know, for any real bullish rally uh, to unfold, one of the key characteristics is the fact that it is always above that 200 day moving average. Now, let's go ahead and turn this into a daily chart. And so traders, we have just done that. And as you can see, we've got a solid blue and a dashed red line. Of course, the dashed red line, that is our 200 day moving average. And so what I am talking about is the fact that as this market was on a tremendous upside surge to new record highs in the marketplace here, one of the overall characteristics was except for one period in time and of course where the market broke, which was a pretty key indicator, but we remained solidly, solidly above this 200 day moving average. Now, once the market went into a corrective mode, as we can see, we broke not only through the 200 day, but the 50 day. This is the August meltdown here. This is our most current meltdown, which comes in with some new lows at about 1800 on the S&P. And it's even below these lows that we got back in October of 2014. But the key of this chart is really the fact that if we can claim that we have some sort of an extended rally, as we had going up till the August meltdown, of course, then one of the overall characteristics has been and always will be the fact that it's trading above a 200 day moving average. And we can see that on these two days, meaning today, as well as Monday, I believe, if this was Monday's candle or Friday, excuse me, that we certainly got that. Now, the question is whether or not it will remain because as you can see, for example, right in this particular area, which came in December, October, 
of last year, one of the basic characteristics is it did pop well above the 200-day moving average, but that was to be short-lived. We definitely had a market that was in flux and at that point couldn't maintain a price point above that. And we saw the corresponding meltdown. We had the August meltdown. And then of course we had, I'll call it our Christmas meltdown because it really began at the end of uh, December of last year. So traders, maintain your current long position at 1979. Move your stops up to 1997. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Talk to you tomorrow for another Trending Markets. Bye-bye.